Yo, YouTube! What's up, guys? So, apparently, there was a crazy uh, thing that happened uh, this last weekend where one of the Master Duel senior producer, um, they did an interview. And in the interview itself, we got to learn a lot more about, I guess, the future of Master Duel and what it'll potentially look like um, from the guy who literally helped produce the game itself. Um, so, I think it'll be, like, pretty good. Um... I think the, the guys who translate this were actually Japanese, so maybe the translations, some people, the translation may or may not be right, I'm not sure, to be honest, like, um, but I, all I know is that, like, the guy who helped translate a lot of the stuff for um, this interview here are also, like, Japanese, so I'm assuming that it is correct, um, unless you're, like, Omega Law, <laughs> uh, they can't translate their own stuff, but we're gonna uh, go right into it, um, but... Let's go. So, there's an interview here on 4gamer.net. And as you can tell right here, um, this was basically the interview. Um, I can't read Japanese. Maybe you can. But um, I, I definitely cannot. So, you know, we, we enlist the help of, um, you know, uh, people who actually speak and understand the language to, you know, help mm -hmm. us get some more context on what this actually means and... You know what? Well, like, what are some of the implications for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel? Um, so basically, you know, as you can see, uh, this was basically translated. So, like, for Gamer, um, all that stuff. You see that this right here is uh, the translation that they did. Basically, they said the question was like, "Will limit regulations be unified with use uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG?" I think what that question is asking is, you know, regarding the ban list, are we going to be stuck with you know, this kind of like weird van list that we're in right now, um, between the two. And so, uh, that was my interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and essentially he responded saying that since it will be a game in which those from all around the world will play against each other, it will be the original limit control of this work, which is, uh, neither Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG or TCG for details. Please actually play the game and check it. And I think my understanding of that is that they're going to stick with their custom ban list. Um, because people from around the world are playing in it, so it's not going to be such. It's not going to be a TCG one. It's not going to be an OCG balance. It's just going to be a the common like you know the culmination of the custom one that they currently have that we're currently yeah. playing in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, I'm actually joined here with Nesh, as you guys can see as well, who uh you know reached out to people to help translate a lot of this stuff. Um, so shout out to Nesh, who's here with me. I mean, yeah. shout out to Omega. <clears throat> Yep. And anti Metaman is the owner of Omega, and thanks to them, we have this yep. document. Yeah. All right. So the next part was: Is it okay to recognize that the battle rules be implemented are Yu-Gi-Oh OCG <clears throat> compliant? Yu-Gi-Oh OCGs has battle rules or other than single battles, but is that also in Master Duel? So this is like asking regarding about like the best of one um, function that we currently have in Master Duel. If you guys play TCG. Um, you guys would know that we play a best of three with a side deck. And you guys might be wondering, Omega Law, what's a side deck? But it's uh, basically 15 cards. It's like a, a second deck that you have with 15 cards in it that you're allowed to swap your main and extra deck with. Um, you know, so that you can have a advantage in game twos and threes. Um, which is, uh, you know, I think a function that reduces a lot of RNG in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, so that people who are... I think better and more skilled, uh, you know, at either deck building um, or like understanding the meta can like, you know, gain an upper handed. And so that, you know, when you play a best of one format, it's a lot more RNG reliant, meaning that you can like lose to someone who like barely knows how to play the game. Um, and like, you don't really get to showcase of like how well, like, you know, like you don't really get to like the, the RNG factor is dramatically higher when there's best of one, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but anyways, Mr. Katsu, Taka, I think I said his name completely wrong. Takahashi. Yeah. Takahashi. No, it's not Takahashi. Is this Takahashi? I don't think this is. <clears throat> no, it's Kenichi. It Takahashi? No, it's Kenichi? not. Yeah, Kenichi. A Kenichi so, Takahoto. Yeah. So he was saying the battle rules are based on the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG TCG Master Rules and are based on single battles. Um, uh, so I haven't talked about other rules yet at the time. First of all, I hope you enjoy the match in a single match. I mean, he hasn't really, he didn't really exclude saying that it will never be best of one. Like, he didn't really say it will never be best of three, but he's saying that in the meantime, it'll mainly just be best of one. So, 
I mean, I'm not saying like, you know, it's like the way you can interpret it is like, it's still going to be best of um, one. <clears throat> we don't know how long that's going to last for. But as right um, now, that's going to be the situation, right? <clears throat> I can tell you another info. Yeah. They analyzed the script of Master Duel. And there is no room to put a side deck in the script. Like, there is no way the okay. side deck was not even implemented. Like, you're talking about, not. like, yeah, you're talking about, like, the I'm, code, like, the master code, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. They analyzed it. Mm -hmm. um, but yep. there is something which could be implemented. And it is basically what's, what's right now Runeterra is doing. Basically, you pick three singular decks or four singular decks. Your opponent excludes one of them. Yeah, and then uh, you play. You play it out with the, the deck, uh, the deck choices. Yeah, it that's might be an option. Yeah, and I think that's like still low key better, <laughs> just because like it, like I, like for me, I think like reducing RNG in a game is like very important, especially if you guys think about it from a competitive sense, right? Like, if you're playing for like tens of thousands of dollars on the line, you know, like what do you really want to like have that ultimately be, you know? You know, like basically come down to like just whether or not you open max C or whether you open a hand trap because that's kind of like what is like low key happening. Um, so, like I said, I think like just having opportunities for best of threes and like having opportunities to like have more than just one match to determine a winner is so much better. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, this is not Google translated, this is translated by like someone who's actually Japanese. So, it's not like it's not like you know, you just ran on Google Translate and went Omega Law. Uh, let's see what happens. Like it's translated by ac actual people um, from Japan. Um, so the other part was, you know, was are there any plans to be adopted as an event of the Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship, which is a World Championship? Is if that happens, how will you differentiate yourself from the Yu-Gi-Oh OCG? For example, at Yu-Gi-Oh OCG, a product called Yu-Gi-Oh OCG Dual Monsters Dual Royal Deck Set X, <clears throat> with a completely fixed card pool is on sale. And battles are held according to his own rules. Will Master also hold a tournament using such special formats? Um, as I've already mentioned in the release video, I would like to adopt Master as an event of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship. Unfortunately, we cannot tell you in detail how other competitions will be held at this time. Please wait until the details of the, um, the tournament are announced. Um, and I think this is mainly asking about, like, you know how, like, at, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds, right? Like, there's that weird ban list that we get. I think that's kind of the context. And they were just kind of trying to get an understanding of like how will the world's format look like for Master Duel, correct? I think is that correct, um, Nesh? Yeah, I think that's yeah. correct. Yeah, I think that's how I understood it. Um, you know, I'm trying to do my best to, to um, understand where where their head is at. But I think I think that's what essentially is being asked. And he said that he's not really sure about what it will look like from a world's comp uh, competitive perspective. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> So, so there's that. Um, I think that was like pretty interesting. So, the I think the summary, the abstract that like someone else also looked at was uh, this right here. That said, um, Master Duel, it was still focused on best of ones. The other modes as best of threes aren't even on the stage to be discussed. Uh, there's also a component within the, the text uh, here itself that says that they're aiming the Master Duel to be an eSports. Um, I thought that was really interesting. Um, <clears throat> um, and then the third part was, is the ban list will e neither be OCG or TCG. Um, Master Duel will have its own ban list. Um, the event will be focused on PVP with various ways to play, which is like the, um, like synchro only, XYZ only, I, I believe. Um, yeah. so there's going to be like that component. Yeah, the best of three, like, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's how I understood it, too. Like, I mean, that's not really a wrong translation. It says, it'll stay focused on best of ones. The other modes as best of threes on the stage aren't, like, they're, they're still being discussed. So, I, I don't think that's translated wrong. If, if you guys are saying that, you know, it's like, we'll, it'll be like, we'll see. And this is literally, it'll be best of one. We'll see if there's going to be best of threes in the future, kind of, you know. It's not even, like, a, a topic from, from the way I understand it, too. It's not in the script. There is yeah. like a, like as I said like they didn't even think about that because yeah. they want the game to look similar as Duel Terra or oh. Duel Links or yeah. uh, like basically the other games like the other uh, the other games which which are best of one they want uh -huh. Yu-Gi-Oh just to emulate 
the other games which are best of one and just put other uh, mm -hmm. PvP things, like other events with different rules. Yeah. So I think like overall, like, I mean, this is pretty interesting because um, like a lot of people were expecting to maybe have them implement that best of three function that we were all looking forward to. Um, also, a lot of people were also like kind of hoping that um, there might be a TCG ban list. There might be an OCG ban list or something, if that makes sense. So like, I, I do think that, you know, this coming out, it's going to be kind of interesting. I don't know how like the Yu-Gi-Oh community have reacted to this yet. Um, so let me know in the comment section below what you think. Let me know in the Twitch chat what you think about this kind of like uh, revelation that we, we came across. Because I think it's interesting, right? Be the first part being best of one. Like I already emphasized, I already talked about my best of one thoughts. Uh, the second one about being an esports, right? So like there has to definitely be an effective way to run the tournament scene for master duel because of as of right now there's no really good way to run uh good master duel tournaments and if i think about an esports i think about tournaments right like i think about like i think about competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. i think about like you know like i, I think esports for me is competitive like you know that's what yeah it's a but sport the thing is, yeah so how do you do that the in is, the context of the master is, duel? <clears throat> what's competitive for you might not be competitive for other people which just play a different game. Like as I said, in um, in OCG, one of the most downloaded game is a speed duel. Okay, a and it's popping off there, you know. And now the there is the the answer you should uh, hime to yourself is what's competitive for me, but also what's competitive for OCG right now, and. What they consider competitive in regards to the other game which are doing the same thing like for example as i said there are other games online as runterra which it's a best of one but they have they have um a, they have a pool of decklist to choose in a tournament okay and you can take like three decks and use and the and you win the, to the, the game if you win with two decks like they might actually think that's the the way you you should be moved forward. Yeah. So they're saying that uh, the translation for that best of one part was actually mistranslated. So I think the prince sent something in, but they were saying that when someone else was translating it, they said that um, uses the latest OCG TCG master rules in a best of one format. But as for other formats, we can't say at this time yet. For now, please enjoy the best one format. I believe the implication is that the best of one will not will won't be the only format in the future. I mean, like you can take it multiple ways, right? Like you can think there is, there isn't. Like I mean, I hope there's a best of three, but I don't understand how there's gonna be. Like I think someone in the comments is really saying this, like um, saying no best of three and aiming to be an esports in the same breath for a game like Yu-Gi-Oh is completely illogical, and I think that's gonna be make sense to me. Like um, I don't know, like. I just I can't see a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh game when you don't when like it's super art like right now it's literally coin toss. Right now, if you play ladder, it's so coin toss. Like you could literally be playing God knows anything. Um, and it's literally so con like it's so coin toss. There's no room yeah. to like uh have like reduce that variance, right? And I think like if you play any RNG game ever, right, you realize that uh the closer you can reduce your variance is the better there is ways for you to showcase your mastery and understanding and your skills within the game right but yes when you have best of one it's literally like omega lol i lost the, i lost the meat i lost the role ggs um like yeah best of ones can be competitive yeah sure it can uh but it's definitely with this current list it definitely cannot be um so i don't know like it's gonna be tough um but what i i want to see is like you know how, like people people are still playing this game you know what's that's the crazy part like i'll give you an example they say you play best of one i'm like i know the meta game is a lot of ditron a lot of rock ad emancipator a lot of people are playing like these super heavy combo decks right so i main deck 15 hand traps in my salmon great strategy or i main deck 15 hand traps in my prank strategy because i know that these hand traps will give me a chance if i lose the roll and when i go first these cards are also good interruptions Okay, now here's what happens. All of a sudden, I queue up and I get paired against Elwich. 
my Nibru's, Veilers, Impermanences, um, like, they're all dead. I have nine dead cards in my main deck. Immediately, at the start of my game, I'm already at a disadvantage. Um, and that's going to happen quite a bit when you enter these type of, like, tournaments. Um, where, you know, Elish isn't even... You can't even be like, oh, wait, Omega Lol, but, but Elish is like a rogue deck or something, right? And I'm like, no, that's not the case. Like, Elish is literally a meta deck too. So when you go best of one, how do you prepare for an Elish deck? And how do you prepare for a combo deck at the same time? It's almost impossible, right? And if you think about it in the context of like, uh, it's like if there was a best of three, if there was a best of three, you can take the game one L. You can make the meta call to main deck 15 hand traps and lose game one to Elish. But game two and game three, you have a side deck that helps you in those matchups. So that, you know, it reduces that, like, you know, that RNG, that variance that I'm talking about, and gives you a higher chance to, like, you know, um, combat these matchups. But as of right now, like, it's, it seems that, um, it seems that it's, it's going to be best of one. And the thing is, people are still going to play it from the way I understand. The community seems that, like, don't, like, from what I've seen, maybe I'm completely wrong in this. So someone correct me if that's the case. Like, I've seen that people are still going to be playing this. Like, they don't mind it's being best of one, all that good stuff. And I think that makes sense, too, because, like, you know, um, when I was looking at the, um, when I was thinking about, like, I will take, like, for example, um, I was thinking about, like, like, Duel Links, for example, right? Like, like, Duel Links meta was running cash tournaments, but he was doing best of threes with side decks, cash tournaments. Um, but he still participated in official Duel Links tournaments, and he, he went to Worlds twice through Duel Links, right? Um, so, I don't know, I think you can still, like, do best of one. Like, I we've seen it, like, in Duel Links and stuff like that, so I don't know. Yeah, but also if a world competitor or duel links recognizes the fact the best of three is the best way to approach the game, why Konami doesn't take an approach like that? If you're yeah, players, okay, yeah. we're talking about them, duel links players who, won't, who, who went to worlds, okay? They are literally telling you the best of three is the best way to en enhance the skill of a player. And they are also running tournaments for cash prizes like that. Why are you not doing that? Yeah. Yeah, Master Duel is a casual game, and best of threes applies to, like, 1% of the player base. Yeah, but if it's a casual game, like, in the interview, they said that they wanted, they, they're they looking into esports for Master Duels. So that's where it's, like, kind of confusing to me, because, like, if it's a casual game, why are they looking into esports? Like, how how is an esports, like, when I think about esports, right, like, sports are competitive. You play soccer, competitive, right? You can play, like, when I think about, like, sports and, like, electronic sports, like, esports, like, I think about competitive. So, then the question becomes, like, if something is casual, then how is it esports, right? Um, because at the esports, they'll probably have to use multiple decks and have a different structure to best of one. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's the goal. I hope that's the case, you know? Like, I, I hope that'll be the case. Um, because I think that's, like, what's needed. Or else it'll just be, a, it'll be, like, a toss-up. Bro, you're gonna have people just... <laughs> <laughs> dropping like flies after round one or something like that um but i i do hope i mean i think multiple decks is fine you know what's crazy i don't have any complaints about the ban list i don't even have any complaints about like the card pool i have no complaints about anything at the game at all i just want a best of three with a side deck like i have no like everything about the game i have zero complaints about literally no complaints at all bro maxi in the format i don't care like you use that like you have like Everything is fine for me. Like, I literally could, like, I don't mind. I don't mind getting max seed. I don't mind getting, like, absolutely clobbered by the rock deck. I don't care. I just want a best of three so that that there's a chance for me to have, like, that I don't lose a match because I still have a game two and three to have a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't even care if VFD is in the format. I just care the fact that I'm able to go to game two, pick up my side deck, and have a better chance in this matchup. And so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. That, that's literally how I look at it. Um, because... I care about all those FTK guys, to be honest. Yeah, I mean... Like, there yeah, are so many FTKs. Yeah. But those FTKs bro, flop quite a lot at post side, to be quite honest with you. Bro, bro, we are talking about very consistent FTK. Yeah. Like, Rongo Bongo is a very consistent FTK. Once that shit hits the board, you lost. Once... Yeah. If you play against someone which does auto combo with VFD, you lose, bro. There is no way with someone at least decent at, game, at the game, someone in VFD on your board, you mm. lose the game. Doesn't matter if you're right. Like, <laughs> if, bro, if I pilot VW and I eat, and that fucking VFD eats the board, you are done. You are screwed. 
you are demolished, you are dust. Okay, yeah. that's how it works. If my, I don't care if I, you are running Eldritch, I don't care if you are running Drytron, I don't care if you are running going second deck, I don't care yeah. if, if Mystic Mind get released, then you get Mystic Mind. Like, bro, if that shit hits the board, there is no way I'm losing that. Yeah. Yo, honestly, I was thinking about doing so. Um, f perfect. Farf was in the chat. I, like, I was seeing him chatting. I was actually thinking about doing a, a content creator tournament where we do a... Uh, you you enter like because I'm assuming content creators you know just freaking whale their their wallet into like the game, like uh, freaking Farfa like has more decks than freaking the Master Duel itself. So I was thinking we do a content creator tournament where we enter with four decks and it will be like you have to win. Uh, y your opponent gets to ban one, and then uh, you have to win with two decks. And I think that'll be like really neat. And it'll be like a 60 man invitational or something, um, which uh, that I was gonna like run. Um, and I was like gonna, I was gonna like uh, plan it out. Uh, if they do that separately, I think it would cause a huge issue with the task with the average players. A lot, a big part of esports viability is that no matter how much, wait, that how much you suck, you're still playing the same games as the pros. We're making the best of threes or best of ones accessible for different people. They won't be playing the same game. Um, yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah, but I mean, I think like it's just even if it's not best of three, multiple decks might be fine. To be honest, it's just best of one is so like. Pro, just roll the dice. Imagine, like, who here feels comfortable playing for ten thousand dollars? You're in the finals, ten thousand dollars. And you lose against best, the right. Best, best, of, best of one. Best of one, ten thousand dollars. Best of one. You guys feel comfortable? Best of one, bro. Ten k. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, screw it, bro. I'm rolling that shit in. <laughs> uh, ten thousand dollars get wrongled. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna find the cheat code for that coin flip, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. Hey, ten, yo, 50 50 split smile. <laughs> yo, do you know how much? Um, do you know how many people would literally conspire with each other? It would be crazy. It would be crazy. Yo, literally, you'll probably be like, hey, yo, what's good? Hey, homie, you trying to split the what's up? <laughs> Because no one would actually want to play it. Dude, I guarantee you, if it's a best of one, people will literally, like, do, like, deals on the outside and literally, like, split it. There's no way. If I'm playing as pros, I take best of ones all day. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> Yo, what? But that that's happened? on you. Like, imagine two pros play at each other, okay? Playing each other. Like, imagine Pac playing against Ani in a pool or Pac playing against Bowdan. Pac play like... Imagine two pros playing each other. They know what they are doing. They know how to set up a win condition going first. And and already most of the times in a in a best of three, seventy percent, sixty percent of the time, the pro is gonna win going first. Okay. But if you put like if you put also two pro in a in in a pool and they play each other, like you have to understand there is no shot you have a win condition against them. Yeah. Going second. If you are already in disadvantage because of the match, there is just no shot. Yeah, I don't know. Because because from a rogue player perspective, I can understand you. You will be like, okay, I don't know how the game works. I come from speed duel, and I'm playing a best of one, or I'm coming from duel links. I'm playing on duel links best of one. I think that's fine, but you have you yeah. have also to see the you have to also to see the pro player perspective, because. We play competitive every day. We test every day, and getting all the effort and all the work he did, and just uh, flush it in the bathroom. It's not like, you know. Yeah. Nice. Um. Someone asked about um, knowing pack he breaks. <laughs> Facts. Um. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I think like uh, <laughs> they're saying I need to sideboard against my bed first. <laughs> And also the deck build also change. The, the, the yeah. deck building also changes because you have to consider Bro, like you cannot so run a lot deck. of brick. Yes, yep. because like if before you were like, okay, I'm playing this deck. This deck is the best deck, but I'm playing four bricks. And I have 15% to brick uh, one over every four games. You are, you cannot build a deck like that anymore because it's a best yep. of one. And if you like brick in the fourth game against uh, Randorandi, you know? Then you know, you know what's crazy, cool. bro? I, the, you know, the, yeah, you want to know the craziest thing is? I think that even if there's competitive best of one master format, I mean, don't get me wrong. 
Like, I I'll still do my best to innovate, to come up with strategies, to do my best to do well. I mean, but it's going to be just, like, so Omega Law. Like, because keep in mind, like, um, when you play against a deck with, like, Floodgates, and you don't have back removal in your main deck, sheesh! <laughs> Yo, you have, you have to decide if you want to play hand traps or back removal. You play a back removal, and you play, play against Daichuan. Yeah. Just play VW. You it's deck li literally VW. Yeah, VW is good against traps. It's good against, like... Like, combo, like, man. Man, that's going to be so crazy. <sighs> it's literally all DVW. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like I because, said, like... I mean... Because bro, you I'll... could say... Yeah, hmm? continue. What's no, no, up? say it. Continue, continue. Continue. Okay, because you could say, okay, I like 3 Brigade Zodiac. Okay? I think, I think it's the best deck. Like, it has, like, the math to beat every deck. But against an Eldritch player, against a, um, a true Draco player, the deck going second doesn't stand a chance. Okay? And the only deck which can actually beat every deck, potentially beat every deck, is VW. Like, that's literally the only deck I can mm. think about. Yeah. Yep. You know, like, in... Um... Yeah. No, like, bro, I'm not even joking. If they do best of one competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that, bro. I'm gonna break the format. I'm gonna be cooking all day, and then I'm just gonna lose game one because I lost the roll. <laughs> Sag. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's gonna be hard to put in like all this effort just get destroyed by like RNG. I mean, it definitely happens, but it's gonna happen at a higher percentage in, in Master Duel for sure. But honestly, I think like at the end of the day, I'm so like, like the crazy part about all this is, chat. You wanna know the crazy part about all this? Like I don't know how true like I don't know how true this is though. But like regardless of what they do with Master Duel, I feel like people are still gonna play. I I I I'm like I'm so convinced at this point. Like everyone's so like hyped about this and like it's to be sure, like I understand it, but bro, they I feel like whatever they do, people are still playing it. And like And like that's the crazy part about all of this. That I it like it almost like the conversation almost like doesn't matter. Like, they like literally. Like people are still gonna play it. Like it, I, f I feel like it, it just, just doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Um. And I think that's fine. Like I mean, it is what it is. But we're gonna see, right? Like if this flops, right? The way I see it is, if it becomes an esports or big or start crafting dreams, I don't care what direction Master goes or how they run tournaments. I'm gonna play no matter what. Yeah, Cody, that's that's what I was talking to Nesh about. Like, I was literally saying the same thing. I'm like, bro, like, if it's best of one tomorrow, shit. I guess like uh, I'm gonna have to learn best of one. Like, and I I'm being serious. Like, I mean, it sucks, but I'm gonna have to probably learn how to play, like, Zoo uh, Try or something, or like maybe play Virtual World or something along those lines because um. Because at the end of the day, like, you know, this is the future of the game. Is it, like, what I prefer? Maybe not, but the way I look at it, it's, like, it is what it is. And that, that like, I mean, and that's, like, I don't know if that's the right mentality to go about it. Because you're kind of just taking shit the way it is. But, I mean, I guess it's one of those, you know, whatever it takes. Um, right? That's like, a yeah, shame. It's a shame, yeah, but it is... Because I think like the the thing the issue is, um, it's just we're gonna, just gonna have to adapt, right? We're just gonna have to adapt. Um, yeah, we just have to adapt. Like the ladder right now is not even like a ladder, like it's not even real. Um, I think there was a really big tournament that just happened today that just finished today as well, so that was kind of cool. But I don't know if they did best of three or not. But you know what's insane, guys? I think. Like, I mean, like, I I'm in the works talking with a lot of, like, like, uh, orgs, like, tr trying to make something happen for you guys. But, like, a lot of the tournaments that I know that are going to be run are going to be best of three. So, like, I still think if they do an official best of one, there's going to be a third party org that's going to probably run best of three tournaments, to be honest. Um, regardless. So... I think that even though, like, it, it's going to be best of one official, if that's the case, like, uh, I know that there's going to be third-party orgs that are going to be running, um, 
you know, they're gonna be running, uh, they're gonna be running, um, best of threes, you know. So I think that'll be still interesting. Um, and the thing is, I'll play both. I'll play both actually still. So I, I don't think it matters. But it, it, I mean, it does matter, but I'll just, I'll just do what it is, you know? Yeah. But, hey right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this discussion, uh, leave a comment. Leave uh, your thoughts below on what do you think about Master Duels and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.